hello friends welcome to joy of life so today we are going to look at a medium level problem from lead code the problem number is 238 it's a product of array except self so given an integer array nums return an integer array answers such that the answer i is equal to the product of all elements of nums except num i okay the product uh, of any prefix or suffix of nums is guaranteed to fit a 32-bit integer. Okay, so there is no issue with the overflow also. Okay, so here are some examples given. So we'll look at the first example where we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 over here. So if I take 1, 2, 3 and 4. Um, so for 1, the answer would be 2, 3 and 4, right? So 4 into 3, 12 into 2, 24. So, so product of all the numbers except this, this number uh, for this uh, ith index so for the second element it will be product of one th one three and four only so one three and four so one three and four is 12 so for the third one it will be uh, one two and four so four into two eight into one which is eight and for uh, 4 it would be 3 into 2 into 1 that is 6 right so here you can see the answer is 12 24 12 8 and 6 so we have to return this uh, new array where each of the cell uh, corresponds to the um, uh, product for that index excluding that number but including all the other numbers in the array so that is the problem all about and they have given one more example it will be something similar so it can have a negative number as well it can have zeros as well uh, so all of them are inclusive so here they have mentioned that uh, it will be uh, between greater than equals to two, the, uh, 2 and less than equals to 10 to the power of 5 so we'll see uh, and uh, the solution we'll see the solution and uh, as i always recommend that do give it a try yourself uh, just try to solve it um, uh, as a as a normal problem uh, before solving it as a code and uh, you can uh, come back and check the solution here as well so there are a few follow-up as well could you solve it in order of n time complexity without using division okay could you solve it with order of one constant space complexity the output array does not count as extra space okay so we'll see that if we can address them <clears throat> so over to the board wherein we'll take some of the example and uh, see how we can solve this problem so let's say use the same example given in the lead code problem so i have taken the same array one two three four wherein you'll be outputting 24 12 8 and 6. so once again uh, just to remind you how, how this thing is done is basically for ith index we are not including i but taking uh, so uh, for the 0th in index we are taking only 1 2 and 3 and uh, getting its product for the first index uh, we are getting 0 2 and 3 and getting uh, these are the indexes by the way and getting the value and doing a product of them so for second index we are taking 0 1 and 3 Similarly, for the last index, the third index, we are taking 0, 1, and 2. So, for 0, 1, and uh, 1, 2, and 3, it will be 2 into 3 into 4, which is 24. 0, 2, and 3 is 1, 3, and 4. 1 into 3 into 4, which is 12. For this one, it will be 1 into 2 into 4 which is 8 and for this it will be 1 into 2 into 3 which is 6 so every time uh, here 1 is excluded here 2 is excluded here 3 is excluded here 4 is excluded and that's how we get this new array so let's understand this problem and how we can approach a problem like this so let's say I have an array like 3 4 5 6 and 7 okay and uh, let's say that I wanted to check for the index uh, 2, which is this index. So I see that I have a product over here, right, on my left, which is 12. And there is a product on my right, which is 42. 
and what I need to do is I need to multiply these two in order to get my result which is uh, 504 yeah right similarly if I am calculating for uh, a different number say when I am calculating for say 6 I know that there is a product from here till here which is 3 into 4 into 5 so uh, 5 for 20 into um, 3 which is 60 and I have a product on this side which is 7 and I need to do a 60 into 7 I get 420 right so I need to know this uh, for a particular index what is my product on the left hand side and what is the product on my right hand side right and then I can come up with the solution so let's say if I take this example let's say 3 4 5 6 and 7 so let's try to build upon this uh, problem so let me put this array once again for you over here let me let me say this is my array and I in a, I start my product with 1 why I am starting my product with 1 because to the left of 3 I will consider there is 1 so 1 into anything is that number itself so I am initializing it with just 1 right so I am just considering that to be 1 ok so in 3 uh, so let's say I am building two arrays one is the left one the first array is called the left array which will go from this side to this side ok so when I when I am here in the first cell what I'll do I will put the value of the product that is 1 okay so when I am at 4 uh, I am going to multiply my product which is 1 with the previous value that is 3 so I will have a 3 over here right so what I am doing is for a particular index I I am populating this new array with product into I minus 1 the value of the element at I I minus 1 rather okay so you can see here 1 into 3 comes here now my product what is my product my product is 3 so 3 into 4 right this value I am taking now I will get a 12 okay over here I will do a 12 into 5 these two values are considered at every level I am considering these two values so 1 into 3 goes here, 4 into 3 goes here, 5 into 12 goes here, uh, 6 into 60 it goes here. So if you look at this array, this left array that we have built just now, what, what does this contain? This, this contains basically all the elements so, so to the left of the uh, 3 what I, what uh, is the product I have that is a 1 ok left of 4 what is the product I have 3 into 1 that is 3 to the left of 5 what I have five, uh, four, uh, 3 and 4 12 so I have 12 say so the left of 6 what I have 5 into 4 20 into 3 60 I have 60 so at every index I know the corresponding value that I have in this array is the product of all its left values okay so I know now on a single pass in the order of n um, because I am just traversing once and what I have successfully done with this run I have calculated all the left products right similarly what I will do is I will do the same thing for my right products as well so this will go from left to right so I will initialize my product again in the same way and I will initialize with 1 and I will consider to the right of my rightmost value the value is 1 so I will put a 1 over here right and now what I will do for this value I will do a 1 into 7 so again the same thing I am doing I am doing a lookup over here and putting the value over here 1 into 7 I am putting the value over here here what I am doing I am doing a 16 to 7 and put, putting the value over here you see you just see that how we are gently building up our array so again what I'll do 5 into 42 and I'll put the value over here 
again well, what I'll do 4 uh, 4 into 210 I'll put the value how much uh, how much time this takes this also takes order of n so what we have done basically is we have calculated the left and we have calculated the right for each of the indexes right so now see we have the left and value uh, right for each one of them right each for each one of them we know the left and the right value so basically if you see over here for 5 I know the left value left value is 12 which is over here see we have 12 and for right we have 42 which is here right similarly for every element we have done this so from this what we can do is we can we can just create the result array right so what will the result array will be it will be 840 into 1 so the value would be 840 for 0th index for second index it will be 210 into 3 that is 630 504 design so 16 to 7 is 420 and the 316 to 1 that is 360 so this becomes my final result so let's quickly validate this using the calculator so 4 into 5 into 6 into 7 so 840 which we have 840 on the first index 0th index <coughs> Then we have uh, 3 into 5 into 6 into 7, which is 630. We have in the first index. Similarly, we have 3 into 4 into 6 into 7, which is 504 on the second index. <coughs> then we have 3 into 4 into 5 into 7. We have 420 on the third index and we have 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 360 on the last index so the basic idea is we are just we are just building the left side so as we have seen the approach over here for a particular index we need the uh, product of this side and the this side so we have built that on linear time so uh, this is the solution all about this is the approach how we are going to do it of course for space what you what i am going to do is i am going to use a left product and a right product and a final one for the result but it can all be all be summarized into one so just think that when putting one into the new array we can just simply multiply it and put put this new value directly right so uh, let's do it that way itself so uh, let's head over to lead code and have a look at the solution so what we are going to do is we are going to return the result and the result is um, an array of the same length as nums so we are going to uh, create a array integer array of the same size and we are going to return it right and uh, what we are going to do in this result is uh, so we need a product which is initial initialized to one this product is nothing but this one that we have taken in both the cases right because for the leftmost and the rightmost value what we are going to do is we are going to um, put it uh, initialize it to one and then we are going to do the multiplication for each one of them uh, through the entire array this one so this one is a forward pass we are going from a left to right and then we'll also have a backward pass right so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, put in the result every time we are doing this calculation so we are going to put the product right and what this product initially has so the leftmost value what i am putting is just the product means which is just one and for the subsequent i am just going to uh, do a product uh, product multiplied by num psi so I am doing the multiplication late so that the value goes in late so for the first index I will be putting uh, just one and for the subsequent index we will be putting the previous values right and uh, same thing we are going to do uh, 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 backward as well so again we will reinitialize product to one and we are now going to do a backward pass 
so nums dot length minus one and i greater than equals to zero yeah and we'll be decrementing this time and uh, same thing we are going to do what we are going to do is we are going to uh, put result i So we are going to now consider the previous value that is present inside result i and we are going to multiply the product to it. So first time I will be definitely multiplying just the one right and uh, subsequently I will be changing my product. So I will be putting product into uh, the value is nums i. So on this pass, I'm coming from uh, the other side. So th for the first time what I have done, I have start from the starting, we went to the end of the uh, array and this time from the end to the starting of the array, right? So we have built both the passes. So at the end of both the passes, what happens is our result is now ready and it is ready to be uh, served. So yeah, it has been accepted. Uh, let's do a submit and check for the broader range of test cases. Yes, it is accepted. It is uh, faster than all the submissions, 100% of the submissions. And again, the concept is more important over here. I wanted to pass on the concept to you. So the most important part here is the algorithm part, how we are building the left product and the right product and how we are consolidating them into the same array and we are not using any extra space over here. So the conditions, um, the follow up that they have given over here that could you solve it in order of n time complexity. Yes, we did it. We went over the array just twice. But uh, as you can see here, this is not a nested loop. So this will have a order of n complexity. This will have also have order of n. So order of 2n and we can drop the constant and it will still be order of n only. And could you solve it with order of one constant space complexity? The output array does not count. So you can see over here that this is the output array. Except for that, we have taken only a variable and nothing else. Right. So this is pretty much order of uh, one complexity that we have taken into consideration. So yeah, we have addressed both the follow ups that they have given us and we have come uh, uh, come up with a decent solution wherein we our runtime is one millisecond faster than 100% submission. Even memory usage, as you can see that since we are using a constant uh, space, we are not using any extra space other than the return type, uh, return result. So uh, that's pretty decent. Uh, I hope uh, you got the concept, the overall concept of how this uh, problem is being solved. So uh, do let me know what your thoughts are about this video. Do give it a like if you think the solution was of any help to you. Do subscribe if you haven't done so and get notified for all the upcoming videos. And uh, yeah, uh, as always I mentioned, I'll um, keep solving more problems down the line. Um, and, uh, Thank you and that, um, do leave a note um, in the comment section and um, see you guys and have a great day. Bye-bye.